Guru combines the best features of classic hardware sampling beatboxes into an intuitive and inspirational software instrument. It's designed to allow you to work quickly and efficiently and to be controlled with minimum disruption to your creative flow. It's got 16 sample pads, triggerable with a MIDI controller or by the mouse. There are 24 pattern memories, again controllable via MIDI or by the mouse. There are 8 banks of these called engines. This means that there are 128 sample pads and 192 patterns available in total. Let's see how Guru's pattern sequencing system works. Firstly, it allows you to record patterns in real time using the record, commit and undo buttons. Here I'm going to be recording with quantizing and metronome click off, although these are of course available. If you don't like what you've just recorded, press undo and start again. When you get to take you like, press the commit button. It's also very easy to program notes with the mouse, especially for repeated notes, which you can simply paint across the pattern like this. You can also select from a number of different groove styles, which is similar to the shuffle or swing control on a drum machine, although a lot more flexible. We'll come back to the pattern sequencing system later in this video. Guru gives you a lot of control over the sound of each pad using the pad edit view. You can change the start and end points of samples. Everything acts in a non-destructive way. There's the obvious gain pan, tuning and filtering controls, as well as control over envelopes and amp envelope and an effects envelope routable to the filter or the pitch. There's also a high quality effects section consisting of three aux effects and a master effect for each engine, as well as an insert effect for each sample pad. Guru gives you a number of ways of bringing your sound to life by automating sound manipulation parameters over time. Firstly, you can assign controls in the pad edit view to one of the eight automation groups. There's another eight groups available for aux and master effects too. Shift clicking on a control cycles through the coloured group assignments and holding down the ALT key while shift clicking group assigns the controls for all the pads in the current engine. Once assigned you can control a group live with a MIDI controller or using host based automation when using Guru as a plugin. Guru has also got what we call graphs, which are step-based automation sequences for certain parameters which are contained within each of Guru's pattern memories. For example, the filter cutoff and resonance for each step of the pattern can be programmed using the filter graph. Simply paint the automation with the mouse. The two automation systems work in conjunction with each other so it's easy and intuitive to twist your sounds into new shapes and forms. A 
as well as being able to switch between different patterns live using MIDI keys. Guru also lets you switch between scenes. A scene is a snapshot of the patterns currently playing in each engine, therefore you set up each engine's pattern as you want. Let's mute out the percussion for instance, and then shift click on any available scene container to create a new scene. You can assign a scene to a MIDI note by right clicking or control clicking it, then playing the desired MIDI key. Once you have some scenes, this means you can switch between them in real time by playing the assigned MIDI notes. You can jam these live or record them as a MIDI track in your host sequencer, making it simple to create flowing rhythmic beds for your music. to cover in this overview of Guru is the browser. It works with a previewing context principle that lets you audition new sounds in context with the rest of the sequence's sounds. To load a new sound into a pad, enter pad edit mode and click the pad to select it. Then in the hit tab of the browser, make sure the auto button is enabled and click on some new sounds in order to temporarily hear what they would sound like if they were loaded in the pad. This slows the sound to the pad permanently. The Loops tab of the browser allows you to do this with any audio material, loops or any audio file with a few sounds in it. Guru slices up the audio file based on transients and then analyzes each slice to see if it sounds most like a kick, a snare or a hi-hat. Anything too far removed from these three is classed as percussion. These analysed and categorised slices are then mapped to the kick, snare, hi-hat and percussion pads. This makes it effortless to change the sounds in your beats. Again, make sure the auto button is enabled and then click on some samples. The contents of the pads will be swapped out if there's enough slices. of an engine, pre-made kits assigned to the 16 pads, saved with pad edit settings and effects. Finally, you can also browse and load patterns, which is great if you need a starting point for your beat. instead of the OK button and the original will be restored. Guru comes with an extensive library of hits, loops, kits and patterns. But you can of course add any sounds and patterns to this, meaning that over time you can build up your own library of personalised beat making building blocks.